Cheeky dogs, the episode Ghost Basket just aired in Australia. We just did a whole watch along party for it. And of course, at the end was the massive surprise that Bluey and her family are selling their house. So let's talk about this situation and how we think it's going to play into the episode The Sign as well as in the future and whether or not this is just a plot point or something that's actually going to happen. G'day cheeky dogs, my name's Monkey and I'm an Australian currently living in America. Something I think is really interesting is if you listen throughout the episode, Bandit of course gives us a few little hints as to like what's going on. He does say that he can't do this for Bluey every single time, so assuming that they've had the house on the market for a while and she's been struggling with it. But also he does mention that he's been trying to sell the house for six weeks. So perhaps that's how long they've had the house up for sale so far. And obviously they're playing this game to help the girls cope with it. We've seen that time and time again throughout Bluey of them trying to use games to help cope with something that's happening or learn a new idea or something like that. So I definitely think that that's the whole point of this game is to help the girls with the idea of them selling the house. So let's go through a few little extra details like why are they selling the house and where they might be moving to and why I don't think that they would be technically staying in Brisbane. So of course the next episode we have this weekend coming out is The Sign, the 28 minute special and we've gotten a bunch of little clips in the trailers already, particularly one where Bluey is telling her class in Calypso that she's obviously moving but we can assume as well that that means that she's also not staying at that school because they all looked really shocked and upset. And I feel like they wouldn't be that shocked if it was just her selling her house but still living in Brisbane. So I feel like it means that they're actually like moving moving away and of course the most logical reason for this would be the fact that bandit who is an archaeologist most likely has gotten a job somewhere else perhaps somewhere overseas it's too good to say no they want this experience for the girls and so that's why they've decided they're gonna sell their house and completely move out of Brisbane but I think that this is actually a massive misdirect and I'm gonna explain why with both like in the bluey verse like information as well as just stuff outside of it. And the biggest thing I think that points to them not selling the house is actually the episode Daddy drop off at the very end when we see that flash forward scene of Bingo and Leela. Bingo is my friend now. <laughs> and I hope we're friends forever and ever and ever. Now the second scene you see is of Bingo and Leela at Bluey's school taking a class photo, which means that they have to still be there within at least the next one to two years. And yeah, houses can take a while to go up for sale, but they don't take that long realistically. So I think that's our first clue that they, in the end, don't decide on selling the house and that they do stay in Brisbane because Bingo, of course, attends that school with Leela. But then also, of course, we see Bingo attending school with Leela in like what looks like maybe middle school or high school around those kind of ages. So again, she's still in Brisbane with Leela. So proof that they haven't moved. So then what happened? Why did they decide to put the house up for sale and then take it down? I think it's to do with Brandy, to be honest. And again, this comes from the Australian trailer of the sign where it isn't clipped in, but in the like zoom out scene, you can see that Brandy is pregnant. So again, like I said, maybe Bandit got a job offer that he just couldn't say no to and they were all for it and everything was great. But then Brandy got pregnant and Chili started having second thoughts. We even see in the trailer a clip of like Chili opening up a box, which I assume is one of the box of stuff of like the nursery that they packed up in the episode bedroom. So I feel like obviously Chili is bonding with her sister again. Like the whole reason that they fell apart for four years was the fact that Brandy really wanted a family and couldn't have it at that time. I'm sorry it's been so long. Oh, it's just hard seeing you all, you know? I know. And now she can, and her and Chili have just made up. And I really doubt that Chili wants to leave her sister completely alone. Like their mum has already passed away, which we know from the episode Dragon, and we've talked about that a bunch before. So I think that Chili is having second thoughts and really wants to be there for her sister and to help her with this pregnancy and the baby. Because in the end, I feel like Chili's that sort of person where family would definitely trump a job. So perhaps after the wedding and seeing all their families together and how great it is together, they make the decision that no, they're not actually going to sell their house. And we do see like a small little clip of Chili and Bandit at the front of their house looking at it like quite lovingly and I feel like maybe this is the time when they decide that yeah okay they're not going to move. So that's like the in Blueyverse theories that I have as to why this is probably a misdirect. Of course I did already make this video ages ago when I thought like well everyone thought that this was going to be a big theory that would happen but I did explain some of like the outerverse reasons as to why I don't think they would be moving and I'm just going to reiterate those pretty quickly here. The main one being the animation. They've already done like over a hundred different versions of the kitchen, everything like that that the animators have talked about, as if they're gonna throw all that time and effort away. The second one being though, of course, is the fact that Bluey World is opening in Brisbane this year in August. And one of the main attractions of it is the Bluey House, the Bluey Backyard in Brisbane. And of course the Ludo Studios team and Joe Brum have been working closely creating this Bluey World. So as if they were gonna put all that time and effort into something that they're going to just throw away and get rid of 
starting season four. I absolutely doubt that completely. So again, I do think it's a misdirect. But when will it be revealed? I'm assuming in the episode The Sign or perhaps in the episode Surprise, which is the finale for season three. So cheeky dogs, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think that this is a misdirect? Do you not? What do you think is going on? I wanna know all your thoughts and feelings down there. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. But until then, I have picked your cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch and I'll see you all in another video. Mwah. Bye!